Housing First focuses on putting people in housing prior to all of the other things that they might need, prior to having addictions treatment or mental health treatment or having their finances in order, all those things that they need. But without having housing, they can't focus on any of those things. So providing housing first gives them some stability so then we can get them connected to whatever resources they might need. So for our clients in our Housing First program, once we get them in housing, we have them connected to targeted case management, which means they meet with a case manager two to five times a month that helps them transition from being on the streets or in a shelter to being actually housed. And then we get them connected to mental health care, get them connected back to a primary care doctor because a lot of times they have physical needs that they have not been having met. We get them connected to addictions if that happens to be an issue with them. We have different um, facilities that we work with to get them either inpatient or outpatient addictions depending on what they need. Um, as well as simple things like getting them, setting up a budget with them, saying, okay, here's the money that you have, here's what that really looks like, and here's what you can really afford to pay for whatever things that you need. Getting them connected to if they don't currently get food assistance or any of the other resources that are available to them and helping them get connected to all those things. To be in our program here with the city, they have to be chronically homeless. And what that means is either in a shelter or a place not meant for human habitation, which would be outside in a car, um, in a place without running water, or electricity, those things, they would have to be in one of those places for 12 months out of the past three years. The people who are chronically homeless, who are living outside, tend to use police service, EMS, and fire service more, more than anyone. They're being arrested for things essentially because they're homeless, trespassing, disorderly, shoplifting, tend to be misdemeanor crimes, but it's, it's repeated calls for service from the police department. But there's and every time that police officer goes out, that's money that's being spent by the city that, that doesn't need to be spent. It's actually more cost effective to just house them. We have a family that um, had been homeless um, situation where dad had lost a job and just they had been in shelters for more than a year. And six kids, um, at least one of their children was born into homelessness. Um, and just they just needed help. They needed they needed a hand up. So we were able to identify them, um, put them into our Housing First program. They have done very, very well. Dad's working. Um, it, they're paying um, a portion of their income for the rent, and then we are paying the rest of that rent, and they are, they are doing very, very well. It's a very rewarding thing, especially when you have someone, I can think of a client specifically who recently we put into housing, and he had been outside for several years, literally outside for years, and he... Um, we showed him the apartment that we had found for him, and he the first thing he did was run over and turn on the running water and said, I cannot believe there's running water. I can't believe I can take a shower whenever I want to. And that's all he cared about. He didn't care what the apartment looked like. He didn't. It, all he cared about was there was running water. And three times while I showed him that apartment, he just kept turning on the running water. And, and he said, I don't even care if there's hot water. I just care that there's water. Mm -hmm. And I assured him there is hot water. But that he is just able, just very, very gracious and very able to... Um, see that it's an opportunity for him to change the, the, the situation he's been in for whatever reason he's there and then able to be able to be inside, shower whatever he wants, and then be able to just um, move forward with whatever whatever needs that he has beyond that. It's, it was very, um, it is very, you do get a sense of um, pride where they be able to help them with the things that they need. It's, it's very, it, it's just incredible.